everyone. I am your instructor, Heather Wilson, and I am so sorry to not be available on the first day of class. I promise you that it's for a very good reason. I am heading off to Kentucky to see the total eclipse. I don't know if you guys have been following this, but this is happening right on the first day of class, and I'm so excited. I expect it to be a life-changing event for me. I'm going to have to tell you the story when I get back of why I needed to do this and um, how it went. Meanwhile, I hope some of you will get the opportunity to check it out. At least the partial eclipse will be in Indiana um, on Monday afternoon. So I hope that you'll take advantage of that. Meanwhile, I am going to ask you to do a few things on your own so we don't fall behind already on this first day of class. So here is um, the plan. One of the things I'm going to have you do is write a preflection, okay? And you'll click on this link here to um, read the instructions for that. This essay is going to do two things. First, it will show me your level of writing right now, right here at the beginning of the semester before you really um, have an opportunity to learn a lot about writing. So some of you will have a lot of experience in writing from your high school days and some of you haven't been to school for a long time and others just struggle with writing papers. So this helps me to know what to work on with you over the semester and then to assess your improvement at the end of the semester. Second, it's going to give you an opportunity to tell me um, some thoughts that you have on what this class means, um, especially regarding service learning. Maybe some of you didn't realize this was a service learning class, but it is. This is what you've signed up for. And that can cause some fear to people. Um, by the end of the semester, I get so much positive feedback. Students find it to be life-changing. And I hope so much that you'll stick with it. You won't be intimidated. But let me tell you a little bit about what a service learning cl class is. You are for sure going to write. Of course, this is an English class. But I'm also going to have you do a little bit of volunteer work. And um, I think that it will be transformative for you. I think you're going to be, uh, might dread it at first and be a little bit scared or intimidated, but by the end, and you'll see how it affects the way you think, I think it's going to be really powerful. Um, I'll tell you more about why I believe this on Wednesday, but for now, I do want to quickly walk you through what your assignments are for the semester so you'll get the big picture of what we're going to be doing this semester before you write your preflection. So all the assignments are listed here for you, and each one there is an assignment sheet. I'm going to start with the proposal. The proposal is where you will be writing a, a proposal to me. You're going to be pitching an idea to me to say, this is what I want to write about for this whole semester, and you're going to convince me of why this is an important thing to be writing about. The second assignment that you'll be doing is library research. Okay, This is coming in various forms, a works cited page, an annotated bib, and a literature review. But basically what you're doing here is you're reading sources that other people have written about your topic. And you're going to be summarizing the conversation. You're going to be learning how to do documentation, those kinds of things. That's pretty traditional, right, for a research course, for a writing course. What's different, what's exciting, is this one, the Methods and Findings Draft. So this is where you are going to do your own research. It's sometimes called primary research or field research. But basically, your volunteer work will be an opportunity for you to find out firsthand some of the answers to your research question, rather than just depending on what other people have said. You're scholars, after all. You have, you're in school, you're in college, you're coming up with ideas, so you should have an opportunity to dig into this yourself. Um, and it, it's amazing how this experience changes what you say in your paper. It's really exciting, really powerful. And then you will do, um, I think what is everybody's favorite is this implications draft. It's really your argumentative paper. It's really where you finally get to say, um, this is what I think about this topic. So far, you're summarizing what other people were thinking and then what you saw. And now here you finally get to stand on your soapbox and say, this is what I believe and this is what people need to do about it. So that one's kind of a fun one. And then you put all these things together and you create a final paper, which is your argumentative, persuasive research essay. Um, so don't worry, you're not writing a whole new one at the end of the semester. This is 
a puzzle that you're putting together and at the end you'll form this final paper. So it's going to be a fun class. I think you'll do a lot of interesting things and learn a lot of stuff. So I um, encourage you to stick with it. Meet me on Wednesday. Express your concerns and thoughts to me, and we'll figure out a path for you. All of you can pass this class. I promise you. If you show up to every class and you turn in every assignment, you're going to make it. All right? So um, let's stick together on this one. Um, so now to go back to modules, what I want you to do is to reflect on this or preflect since we haven't really done any work on it. So I want you to open this one up and read the assignment sheet, write this out, type it out for me, and I'm going to post um, a prompt for you so that you can um, submit it to me before Wednesday. This is what you're doing instead of class today, okay? Writing this preflection. It's what we would have done if I had been with you in class anyway. Um, so thanks guys. I look forward to meeting you and um, reading your thoughts. All the best. Bye-bye.